Marg, where did Big Gay Lion come from? <laughs> Welcome to community of homeless cats. We don't matter, B. For real though, you seem like a good guy. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's actually been really cool connecting with a lot of people on Reddit when I came into the AMA and kind of, as I said, this nigga sucks, man. He sucks. He's so lame. He sucks. And if you're a fan of people like this, I swear to God, I pray for you. And I hope you get better people to kind of look up to and to enjoy the content of. This guy sucks. He's a leech, bro. He's been hanging on and trying to make it in Hollywood for many, many, many years. Struggling and not trying to figure it out, which isn't a crime. We all kind of try to chase our dreams. It doesn't work out. But along the way, he just turned into the worst caricature of people that you'd meet. And I've met a couple of BGOs in my lifetime of going to LA a few times and hanging around around that scene and seeing people how they are and how they're trying to use anybody and everybody to get forward and stuff and not being you know appreciative of opportunities that they get feeling entitled uh, feeling deserving of certain things like it's just really stinky and i think uche mentioned it before it's like it's also just not good like um to practice this kind of you know to kind of carry yourself this way but especially in, that, in those kind of environments because you'd imagine in those kind of scenes it's all kind of word of mouth it's all recommendations type of stuff to get certain jobs and certain gigs and if you're flying off the handle of the, uh, like basically of just not getting paid what you're owed and you're exposing all the flipping secrets of someone that you worked with who's already you know suffering what he suffers from with people online brendan right he's got some of the biggest haters and long-standing and you know enthusiastic ones out there it doesn't make you look the greatest because everybody now knows that if they slight you in any kind of way they are also susceptible to being exposed and being flipping you know have their business splurge all over the place at any flipping given moment it really hasn't really endeared him to anybody i don't think so in my opinion and again like maybe it's not maybe it's not a bad thing because he really has nothing else to offer anybody apart from the insights he's gained with working with brendan shaw really you know what i mean what talent and what insight does he has really that people care about? I know he's big and he's muscly and shit, but I don't see people really caring too much about his fitness and weightlifting shit either. I don't necessarily think he's that funny. I don't think he's that smart or, in, you know, or has any really insightful opinions on any kind of certain things. So this is basically all he has to run with and it's going to run out very soon. So this is kind of a bit of a, you know, he kind of has to just go down with the boats basically, I guess, and try and squeeze as much as he can out of this. But Jesus Christ, man, what a terrible promo run. Came clean and took responsibility for the things that I feel like I need to take ownership of and that, you know, that I did mistake I've made and in interacting with you guys or character characterizing you guys and, and even just like, you know, working for shop again, that's, that's, that's me. That's my decision. Nobody forced me to do that. So I take ownership of that. And it's been cool to kind of like Good. get messages from people where they go, you can actually see above like, you know, Oh, if, if six months ago, you're talking shit to me. And then you're like, Hey man, my bad. Like I, I had a different perception of you back then. And I, you know, after the AMA, that's really cool because I can do that too. And I, and I hope people, and again, there's no collective, there's no collective hive mind when it comes to people that, you know, aren't necessarily fans of TFAK and Brendan Shaw, but everyone's got a right to their opinion. And if they like the guy, they like him fair play. I think their subreddit is kind of split um, in that opinion. I think for the most part, a lot of those guys on there, because there's not much information to kind of glean, in the background a lot of brendan stuff which is quite the i think made one of the frustrating parts about being part of the subreddit everyone can kind of see he's a piece of shit but it's kind of hard to kind of get any more juice out of it because everyone else in the scene is kind of scared to say anything because of rogan then when brendan kind of fell out of favor with rogan you could see a little bit of people getting confident to say certain things but still you didn't really get the inside scoop so bgo has been the closest thing to a real expose as to what's happening behind the scenes at t5k and people on that subreddit or frothing at the mouth for some fresh material for some fresh hot juicy fresh out of the flipping you know kitchen orange chicken to kind of nibble on and obviously he provided it but again i don't necessarily see what's what he serves outside of what he's already given us and we've we've heard most of the stories already most of the things he put out there about brendan everyone kind of can kind of guess it from just using discernment so it's gonna run dry soon uh, you know, are able to have this fresh start. Where did BGL come from? It was a nickname that came up pretty quickly. Obviously, it stands for Big Gay Lion. I think it's not a bad nickname at all. Like, I love lions and I love cats and, you know, like, so. <laughs> what? You fucking dork. <laughs> it's it's a really it's a catchy one, right? That's the main thing about a nickname. It has to be catchy. It's not too over the top. You know, it's like, oh, no, I'm being called gay. 
Oh, he's so fucking lame, man. Is he psychoanalyzing and trying to fucking break down a fucking throwaway nickname people gave him to take the piss out of him? He's trying to like do like what? I'm gonna take away the power from this and claim it as my own. It's like go away, go away, man. Wish I could fucking blur his face on the stream. Hey, like who can, and and BGL is is catchy as an acronym too. So it just stuck. You're going to put on a fucking t-shirt or something as well. Is that what you're going to do? You're going to be selling beanies with the fucking logo on it. Like, enough with this shit, man. It's just a throwaway nickname to take the piss. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that deep.